If Overwatch 2 is a couple new maps and some heroes, I will be very disappointed. Okay, I've played Overwatch 2, and it reminded me of a Stevie Wonder song. And that song is, You haven't done nothing! Listen, what the hell is this? this what, what kind of scam are you trying to run on me here? The haters have been calling this game Overwatch 1.5. I gotta say, haters, you guys are stupid. You don't know what you're talking about. This is more like Overwatch 1.1. Okay. And anybody who says, anyone who disagrees with that take is just wrong, right? Let's stop pretending that the multiplayer is, is not what it is. This, that multiplayer is not Overwatch 2. It is far closer to the core values of Overwatch 1 that were good, right? That doesn't mean that it's bad. That means it's just calling it for what it actually is, okay? And if you can't accept that, you're just wrong on this one, okay? The entire pro... I think the game's biggest issues nowadays stem from us trying to cling on to the fact that this multiplayer is... Overwatch 2, it's Overwatch 2, it's a new game, and that's causing us to withhold valuable um, functionalities, like a ranked mode, like all of these things that have already killed off the beta, right? You lose your incentive, like we are not treating it like the live service Overwatch 1 that it should be. The only parts of this game that should be considered Overwatch 2 are the is the pve which i can get behind because that really is different right but the multiplayer is not it shouldn't be treated as such right and i think the thing that the devs have done that is good is they've started to step out of the grave in that regard but we need to jump out of the grave there's no such and like you've heard them kind of acknowledge this and, and it's been good like i think the direction they took this beta overall was really good but we still need to jump out of the grave we dug for ourselves by labeling this game Overwatch 2 when it never should have been. Um, that's my opinion. Um, let's let him continue. Confronts you with the horrifying truth that Roll Q. Oh, excuse me. Is still in the game. Why? Why and how? How did this moronic system even make it into the first game? Let alone make it all the way into Overwatch 2. So I actually disagree with this. Now, I, as time has gone on, I have leaned more towards like considering open queue again, but like roll queue did so much more positive for the game than negative, okay? In this circumstance, the reasons why queue times are so long is because no one is queuing support, right? The developers have not had the time um, <laughs> um, to figure out how to make support queuable and fun nor have there been more supports added to the game. So I think if you add a couple of new supports to the game, as well as like up the frequency of cooldowns, right? Because the big problem supports have, I feel like they don't have the tools and the cooldowns to compete with the faster paced game of 5v5, right? Like on a sleep dart is 15 seconds. Like give her two charges on sleep, maybe make them last two seconds each instead of five or six and reduce the cooldown as maybe two nades too. Like just increase the frequency of these support characters to make the role way more fun to play. It's also like, you know, we'll see. I think new characters and doing that will help. I don't know if it'll solve it in its entirety. Um, but yeah, no, the devs haven't had the time to like fix support. And like when run, when one role is not fun, it breaks all of role queue. So you need to have all three roles be fun to queue at all times. And then once you do that, the game's in a much better spot. So yeah. The queue times here are horrendous. They are giving GTA 5 a run for its money with these long. You'd issues. reduce the nade duration. Now, a fast pass thing. But it does absolutely nothing. Blizzard, priority one for this game should be get players into matches. When the game launches, I assume you'll be able to pick between roll queue and actually get into a match queue. But it's kind of sad that they still haven't figured out how to solve such a simplistic problem yet. Let's talk gameplay. Overwatch 2 has made big, earth-shifting changes to the Overwatch we all know and love. First off, McCree's name has been changed to Ryan. <laughs> Yep, there's more. And the nighttime maps are daytime now. 
that's it. The biggest change is switching from 6v6 to 5v5. There are some upsides to this idea. Instead of having two tanks, each team has one super tank with extra power. Whoever plays tank gets to feel like the leader of the team until your DPS just run in solo and die. Personally, I've put so much time into Overwatch that any change, good or bad, is welcome at this point. But you have to keep in mind that all of these heroes were designed for a 6v6 game. Suddenly changing it to 5v5 without making fundamental changes feels like one of those player made custom modes. There are new maps, Bastion and Arisa have been totally reworked and there's the new hero, Sojourn72, they even added a scoreboard in finally, but you can never escape the feeling that you're still just playing Overwatch 1. Doomfist can't uppercut. That's because you are playing Overwatch 1. Like, I want the community as well. If you want the game to succeed, stop trying to label this as something it is not, right? Because if you're not for with yourself, it, it distracts and impairs your judgment, right? When running a business and creating something. Stop pretending that the PvP is not Overwatch 1. It is. It is Overwatch 1. Granted, 1.5, 1 1.1 maybe. But it is not Overwatch 2. It is not a brand new game. It is a changed game. And there's a big difference, right? The PvE will be Overwatch 2. That will be its own game. But because, again, like we're kind of splitting our market by being half and half here. We're, we're either committed to one or committed to the other. And the reality is, no matter how much you change around the pieces of the puzzle, right? In the on on the board on the table, you have the pieces of the puzzle that are Overwatch, and you're changing them around, being like, "It's a new game, it's a new game." The reality is, all of those pieces of the puzzle are from the same box as before. When you put those pieces of the puzzle up and rearrange them, at the end of the day, it's still the same puzzle, right? You you, you haven't changed the pieces, right? You haven't changed what it actually is, and that's not a bad thing, by the way. It, it's the same puzzle but it's still better, right? But don't pretend it's a different puzzle because that's disingenuous to what your, your product is and it's disingenuous to your consumer base. And it's led to far more problems than it's solved. McCree can't stun, so his right click does nothing now. May can't freeze people. Again, Other but it's still, the way they the change the pieces, are, it's still You're better. You're looking at this gameplay right now and saying, oh no, Dunkey, you put the wrong footage. This is just Overwatch 1 gameplay, but nope. This is Overwatch 2. This is the right game. Most of the heroes have not been touched. Widowmaker still sucks ass. Junkrat is still insane. Moira can still out damage DPS while out healing the other healer. Symmetra is still zero fun to play. You're still gonna get yelled at for picking Hampton. Probably more now since these are all opinions. Game. I mean, I know behind they're the just funny. It's a total blunder. Fuck. On top of COVID, Blizzard as a studio is collapsing. Jeff Watch left. Every employee is fired or going to jail. I've been reading about this stuff forever, but now to finally have overwatch 2 in my hands it feels like a major defeat it feels like blizzard could be the next bioware however we still haven't played the co-op mode which for me is this is overwatch, overwatch 2. 2 for the sake of the fans i hope that 99 percent of the development team has been focused on the co-op because i don't know what they've been doing for more than two years with the pvp none of overwatch's core issues have been addressed here 5v5 ends up making the game even more steamroll heavy than the original, the game still expects an unrealistic amount of teamwork from random players, and the objectives are still anti-fun garbage. Without PvE, this is more of a minor patch to an abandoned game masquerading as a sequel for marketing purposes. Not wrong. Overwatch 2's PvP is as lazy as it gets. But it's still better than Valorant. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, let, let's unpack this real quick, right? So, just to be completely truthful, he's not wrong about a lot of this stuff. I think he is wrong about roll queue. Like, I think he's frustrated at the queue times, justifiably, but that... But it's not because it's more so because roll queue isn't able to function properly right now because they haven't done anything to support. And this is gonna be the biggest problem, I think, for the hero design team in in the long term with the roll queue format, which I think a roll queue format did help the game way more than it hurt the game. A hundred percent. 
But in order for queue times to be lower, we need to increase the volume, right? And I, I see people talking about this when I say competitive should have been in the beta and, and, and all of these things. Um, the reason for it is, well, they don't want to split the player base. But like you're you're looking at the wrong equation because what competitive does is it keeps the volume of players higher because big streamers want to play it, people want to grind the game, and no one wants to sit around and play quick play all day. I, they don't, right? Like a very large part of the swing player base will come and play quick play if there is competitive and a purpose to play. And I feel like Blizzard's biggest blunder right now is that they're still stuck in the doorway of what are we? It's time for the community to swallow the pill that Overwatch 2 PvP is not Overwatch 2. Stop calling it something that it's not because that's only going to slow us down even more. Because if we label it as Overwatch 2, we're going to continue to make the same mistakes that dug us in a grave for two years in that we are still withholding key features to a live service PvP multiplayer game while our competition is still putting out big updates, right? And from the consumer's perspective, this is the most important thing. I don't give a damn what what the, the, the people who stream the game think every day, who do all these things. And I think I've seen some, some terrible, terrible, terrible takes, right? That I think Blizzard's smart enough to not listen to. But people, people being like, no, well, well, the, the people who are hating on Reddit, the game's not for them, it's for us, the diehard Overwatch fans. No, it's not. The game is for the industry. The game is for the world. And your goal is to get those players to play your game, not push them out the door because you're they're not true Overwatch lovers like us. That's a fucking terrible mentality. Your goal should be to get as many consumers in the door as possible when running your business because that's how your business flourishes, right? Like if you're a true Overwatch fan, you want to see the game pop off and flourish, right? And I just can't believe that I see some of that from my peers and 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 and, and it's no one you guys know obviously. It's 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 just, you know, I see takes like this on Reddit or Twitter or something and I'm just like, guys, this is terrible. Like this is so backwards. And I think that Blizzard's biggest problem is that they still don't quite they haven't completely jumped out the grave and they don't con continuously understand like what the industry is like and what you should be doing to get your consumer in here like like literally copy paste comp from Overwatch 1 into Overwatch 2 and it would be better you don't have to release all your big features at once right but stop pretending that if you want if overwatch 2 wants to succeed like right here right now the best thing they could do is accept that overwatch 2 pvp is not overwatch 2 it's overwatch 1 give it the live update features that it needs and update it as it goes because the idea that we go back to overwatch 1 after this is dead it won't work stop it's gonna make it worse overwatch 1 should never come back online ever again Everything, literally everything that's on Overwatch 1, you can keep like the, the, the borders for now. Keep all of that until you want to drop it as a massive content, con like content update for when Overwatch 2 actually comes out, right? But don't put the player base back and forth like this. Back and forth, it died the second you released PvP beta. It's dead, it's gone. Don't bring it back. Leave it behind us and full commit to moving forward. Hard commit. Jump out the grave and let's go. That's the kind of go-getter energy and mentality I think the Blizzard leadership and the Team 4 leadership needs. And I think they do have that with John Spector, to be honest. But what I want to see him do is literally grab everybody out of the grave and fucking pull them out. Let's go. We got no time to waste. We have been idle in a race for two years. We need to win our consumer back. Let's aggressively go get them. Fight to the nail for everybody that we've lost and go get it done. Unfortunately, though, I don't think... I don't think that they have that kind of energy there, um, unfortunately. Um, and, and if you want the honest truth from, from what I've seen, like... I, like there's some of it, but it needs to go hard. I like the energy they have when they're like, we're done apologizing, we're done doing all this, but you gotta win guys like Dunky back. That's what I want the community to understand. That's the position, we need to win them over again. And you do that through aggressive, 
go get her changes. You don't do it by half assing a beta masquerade, a, a second game masquerading as the original game masquerading as a sequel when it's just not. It's just not. Let's stop pretending that it is. That's the best thing we can do for ourselves is look in the mirror for what it is and say, you know what? This was wrong. It's okay to be wrong. Let's fix it. And you don't do that by not having a competitive mode in your beta. You don't do that by putting everyone back to Overwatch 1 after the fact, especially when Overwatch League is already going to be running Overwatch 2. Everyone's already played Overwatch 2 beta. No one wants to go back to playing Overwatch 1. There is no point. Take the existing Overwatch 1 features right now and just put it in this game, and the game's already better. It already has a purpose again. The game has no purpose right now. So don't pretend to be a live service game if you don't have a purpose. And that should be goal number one. Put purpose back in this game. It's okay if it's wacky. It's okay if all of this stuff is, is not balanced or not great right now. Because it's better than being in the fucking grave. Which is what we're on course to go back to because we're going back to Overwatch 1. What is the point? And stuff like this is what Dunkey hit the nail on the head on. And I gotta give him props. I think he was right about everything except for role queue. And it's important to understand how the consumer will view it rather than anyone else and overwatch 2 pvp should not be marketed as overwatch 2 at all or at least if you want to market it like that at least make it a live service game and put comp in it put arcade in it put custom games in it i guess custom games are already in it but just literally make this the live game right now like port everything you have over and just let it run right that should happen in the next two weeks there's no excuse for that to not happen. That should be step number one. Let's at least get everything ported over and then we can move forward with a live update game. Like, like the patches and the heroes and stuff that they put in, that can come out as live updates. There's no reason for it not to. So yeah, that's all I have to say. Like, I still think like, I still think they need the leadership still, the, the thing they're missing is that sense of direction and that hunger, that go-getter energy. Uh, unfortunately, Greetings. I really just don't think that energy's in Southern California right now especially at Activision Blizzard. That's why I'm, I, I hope the company moves to Seattle with Microsoft. Microsoft Greetings. has it. Microsoft, like think about Microsoft real quick, right? Microsoft is like are so let's get it done that when Mixer, they realized they couldn't compete, they were like, fuck it. Well, it's a sunk cost. We're gonna cut all of our losses. Let Ninja go home with 30 million. Let Shroud go home with 10 million. We're never beating Google and Amazon. Let's just focus on being the gaming ecosystem space on the back end side instead of the viewership side. And they were willing to say, fuck it, we can't do it, cut it all. That kind of energy, the go-getter in business, is the hunger is what this game needs. And if it gets it, it'll be dominant. But like, they need the resources and to commit. And unfortunately, I don't think that will happen until Microsoft steps in. I really don't. I'm not sure if it's a lack of resource. It, it could be lack of resources. It could be a lot of things. At the end of the day, finger pointing doesn't really matter at this point. It's more so about like, do you have what it takes to go get it? And I think it's it's possible, but I think it's unlikely. Um, but that's just my opinion. I don't. I, they they need to commit. Um, yeah, that's my uh, that that's my opinion um, on on all that.